Good morning, this is Lilian Silva, I'm the forage specialist from Clemson University and um, I'm here in the field, it's really early morning so you all can see how foggy uh, everything around is here. Uh, something that I wanted to show you all is that um, on a previous video I talked about the uh, growing points on plants. What I'm holding here is a sunham plant. And I wanted to show you all um, a little more about the importance of uh, us keeping that proper uh, stubble high uh, that we re recommend. So uh, yesterday um, I showed the, the growing point on a pyramid plant. I actually have some pyramid uh, on this, uh, on this uh, plot here so you all can see the pyramid. Uh, plants here and uh, some of them um, are at growing back here and uh, after grazing so when we are talking about the the growing points uh, there's one that's the apical growing point which is on the top of the plant so it's uh, right here and uh, when we are grazing this is a sun hemp uh, plant I just took out of the uh, out of the corner here just because I wanted to show the response for the sunham plant uh, after being grazed. So this plant was grazed before and uh, we left behind the, the proper stubble high and then you can see that the uh, the main growing point here for the sun hemp was removed at that first grazing and the response that we get from the sun hemp plant this is not uh, I just want to emphasize this is not the same response that we would get with every single plant so don't take this as a, uh, a rule this is the sun hemp plant response to uh, being having the that calmer stem removed so what happened with this plant is that uh it's developing new uh shims. so you can see let me hold from the from the bottle uh so you can see how many uh stings have developed from the growing points that are located on the nodes so just uh where i'm, I'm let me just focus here so where my um my finger is right here you can see that this growing point uh has developed and uh so have the other ones around as well so like if i count here uh, really quick three six nine ten eleven twelve uh, i have 12 um growing points that have developed G this is not even the rule for sun camp. We would usually see some of those uh, grain points uh, on the nodes developing, uh, not necessarily so prolific as the plants that I'm holding. So you can see, for example, this one, you have two here, and um, a growing three, four more actually, uh, right after the, the removal of the the forage uh, that was grazed a few days ago. So uh, this is just to show you all what means, uh, like what was your role of the growing points on the plants and uh, on the second plants in this case. And uh, for for the pyramid, for example, we would usually see uh, the the chillers. Uh, the, the chillers from the, the same plant and uh, being developed as well as we start grazing. So this is a response that permillage can have as well. So uh, it's a little bit different for each, um, each forage or um, really the intensity that you're uh, grazing and um, how, how is uh, your resting period for that pasture and everything else is going to play a really important role as well. Uh, so this is what I wanted to, uh, to talk about today. I really appreciate you watching this video. Um, keep, keep in touch for the, the next Forge Drops videos. And uh, I hope you all have a good weekend.